天上拿铁的讲解完毕，我让按从天光后的顺序一个一个下啊。Checked in in Korea, so I uh, just got to get into China now. Um, Korea was pretty smooth. They they let me 24 hours. I didn't need to have like an address or phone number in Korea, and I could just stay at like that Airbnb thing, and uh, just came back, showed my card of quarantine, and got in. But yeah, basically they said you have to register 14 days in China, so I'm prepared for that. You're stuck out of Taiwan now? Yeah, so I've been in Taiwan for a while, but apparently I can no longer go back there. They're on uh, lockdown against uh, foreigners going in, tourists, so. <laughs> oh, uh, insane. Both of us trying to get out of Philippines last minute. Uh, yeah. Forced to go to interesting places. I'm going back to the States for, I don't know, two, three months. Well, however so, long it takes, man. Exactly. And then there's this mask trading we're doing, you know, like the health supplies. It's really going insane. There's so many requests from around the world, from agents, governments, and all this stuff. And there's stories of US seizing goods for their needs instead of going to the person, or China seizing goods. Yeah, it's just really nuts. If you want to learn about this whole mask or health supplies trading, we have a great podcast with Ivan on globalfromasia.com slash masks. This whole virus has really exploded the whole cross-border trading industry and we're trying our best to keep it covered as much as we can. Okay, and a request for Wendy. I'm going to uh, disassemble this camera. I'm gonna try to use my camera phone for some parts. I don't want to get in too much uh, issues. They don't like, never liked uh, online marketing or media. You know, and I'm a US citizen entering China with this whole, all these different issues. So I can't risk too much, but I will uh, try to catch some, catch some stuff. But I'm gonna disassemble all of this for Wendy. Okay. Wendy, the camera, the camera has been secured and hidden. I think I'm the only only foreigner on this flight. It's all it seems like North Chinese accent people here, so they are confused why I'm going here. So it's like uh, 5 p.m. So we're here about three hours, but we're going now. What a day. Let's check out the hotel. I have no idea how much I'm gonna even charge. I think that's my hotel for the next couple weeks. I don't have a choice. So. <laughs> Chinese stay at a different place or go to a different place than foreigners. I don't know why. They're all going here. But they told me, and I guess there's two Korean women in the back, to get back on the bus. We're going to a different hotel.
So I'm here. It's not so bad. 240 RMB a night, three meals. Here's my first meal. Orange. This stuff. There we go. There's dinner. Okay, I just reassembled my vlog camera. Just one quick note, uh, actually everybody, all the, all the workers have been really professional. And there's even a WeChat group for everybody stuck in here. There's like 61 people. They said there are 56 people staying here. I guess there's like five workers. And they're asking me and they, they renamed me to put my room number. And then they say if I need anything, toilet paper, uh, tea, glasses, or anything. So I asked for a bathrobe because it's cold and I don't have warm clothes. So hopefully she comes back with a bathrobe. But all right, that's it for this, this one. I guess you'll see me in here for a while. All right, take care.